Hello, hello! Today you see Chinese celery and beef dumplings. Today I'm making beef celery dumplings for my circus with a spicy dipping sauce. Of course, they are circus. They will eat the food and make troubles. Hello, hello! Hello, hello! Hello! Every week, I show you one of my favorite recipes. I have probably another 50 dumpling recipe I can share with you, so consider subscribe. This is Chinese celery. You can get this in Asian market. Compared to the Western celery, I think the fragrance is a little different. But if you can't find this, you can just use the regular celery from like Cup Foods, Whole Foods, it's fine. For the Chinese celery, get rid of the leaves. I save the leaves for another spicy salad. Don't throw them in the garbage. This dumpling recipe, I always make with my mom. We'll make the pork chives, but this is another common one we eat at home beef celery. So now the celery is peeled and washed. I chop the bottom, the old one, the roots, kind of close to the roots so you don't need this, get rid of. Then I have to chop again, get them really small. Feel free to use your food processor, maybe easier for you. I'm just an old-fashioned lady. I didn't have these fancy appliances. When I grew up, we used hands, cleaver, everything by hand. Maybe dumpling tastes better this way. Oh, it's some ginger green onions in here. Let's chop them. Smash the ginger. Every time I do the same thing. Chopping half. Let me start chopping small. I chop again, get them even smaller shape. Here is about 1.34 pound of beef. Add ginger, green onions. Now we add celery. Here is your best friend, chopsticks. More ingredients to add in. Two eggs. One, two. I set a measure for you. And soy sauce. One, and two. Just a quarter teaspoon, not much. White pepper, just about another quarter teaspoon. Now we mix everything by hand or your stand mixer. Don't forget the salt. Here, one teaspoon salt. Mix about three minutes, one direction, don't go back. This is actually a very good exercise right here. One direction, so your meat will be very smooth. Tastes better. Told you, Chinese food is a workout. My circus, they will eat this for dinner tonight. Oh, my arm is tired. Here is a Sichuan peppercorn powder. I vacuum seal them in the bag so they won't lose the fragrance. Because those Sichuan peppercorn are very fragile. They just like coffee. They lose their fragrance so fast. If you just leave this in the jar, after a couple weeks, they taste like a dirt. Add about a quarter teaspoon. Remember, your workout. Now we add the cooking wine, measure for you. A two tablespoons cooking wine. So now we have everything. I add a little bit more soy sauce, about three tablespoons. Here is my job since I was like seven years old. Help my parents, my grandparents wrapping dumplings. Some flour down so the dumpling won't stick on the tray. I already put the whole tray of dumplings in the freezer. After like 40 minutes, an hour, they are hard. And then I put them in the Ziploc. Here's the dumpling wrapper you can buy from Asian market. And if you want to know how to make the dumpling wrapper from scratch, I have a video down below in the description. Watch that one. You put the water around the edge for the store-bought homemade dumpling wrapper, you don't need to. It's very moist and very soft. Take a scoop of filling, put it in the center here. Then we close, pinch, pinch, pinch like that. Then we put it in the center like this, holding with your two thumb, cross your index finger. Then we just squeeze the belly out. Tight. For my classic dumpling dipping sauce, I use the whole garlic. Let's peel this. Ooh. To chop the garlic, same. Smash them first. Now chop. You can use this dipping sauce for dumplings, uh, or you just boil some vegetables. Use this as your dipping sauce. We have to prepare for Chinese food. Just chopping. I use this little container making my dumpling sauce. So next time, I just scoop out, put on my dumplings, so I don't have to make again. This is a big portion, so I use about third cup soy sauce. Personally, I love Chinese vinegar, so I add a lot more than everybody else. For this, I add at least two tablespoons. I never measure. I measure for you. I use my Chinese eyeballs. I never measure anything. I measure this because I can write a recipe for you. Here are the two jars. My homemade chili oil and my homemade Sichuan peppercorn oil. This is always the two jars we have in, at home in Sichuan when I grow up. So I always have this when I make any sauce. It's very handy. Down in the description, see another video. 
for how to make this. The homemade one is the best. Now we add a chili oil. Depends, you know, add a one tablespoon or two. Depends how spicy you can eat. And the Sichuan peppercorn oil. You can use, mine is pretty fresh, so I don't need a lot, like one teaspoon. And you mix this. Ah. Or you need sugar. You can add just a half tablespoon. Or one tablespoon. Depends how sweet do you want the sauce to be. This just to balance the tasting here. So mix everything. Remember, taste the sauce. Now put in the water. Boiling water. Put in boiling water. Then you scoop the bottom right away so they won't stick in the pot. You see the water is boiling? I add cold water about twice. So they will be done. Make a dumpling wrapper very chewy, smooth. Tastes just better. It's a little secret. Now you are ready to serve. And you need your dipping sauce. Got the dumpling, still hot. I like to dip my dumplings. Now put on top. So we mix the sauce again. So scoop out some in the bowl. I like a lot of sauce. So we really do the dipping sauce. We dip the dumpling in the dipping sauce. Okay. And we eat this. This is spicy dipping sauce. Mmm. Yeah, so good. Mm -hmm. It's very good. Mm. I get my own chopsticks. Mm -hmm. I have chopsticks. Mm -hmm. Our customers want to try. Celery, so crunchy, and the beef still juicy. Mm, so good. If you make this recipe, please let me know. What do you think? And uh, if you want, that's how she mama talks. Good. Any other Chinese recipe, Asian recipe you want me to make next time? Comment yeah. below here. Yeah. I will reply to you. Make another video. Consider subscribe. Okay. I will see you next time.